The casino in Hamul improved today, but many local residents are still concerned about the impact the casino will have on their quiet community. CBS News' Kelly Hesedal is live in Hamul tonight with reaction from locals and a warning from a high school principal in the area. Kelly? Well, Barbara Lee, it was very quiet outside the Hollywood Casino today. Uh, though traffic was not an issue, residents here in Hamul, several residents, that is, still aren't happy. I'm very concerned. This is only the beginning. Residents in Hamul angry over the new Hollywood Casino that just opened up. They have a horrible uh, building for horrible people. Yesterday's traffic. I sat in about three hours of traffic, which is a drive that usually takes me ten minutes. I saw a lot of people driving on the side, like the shoulder of the road, and a lot of people honking and getting really angry. And there were drivers trying to park on this man's property. Well, I told people, just that you're going to be towed. And they, people will say, I don't care, take the car. The principal of Steel Canyon High School posted a message to his students and parents, warning them with this new casino to be careful of drunk drivers. However, some residents say they aren't against the casino. I see the good, I see the bad to it. Brianna Sperry didn't go to work yesterday because of the gridlock. Today. Today was fine. Um, I still went the back way just in case. She says there are positive aspects of their new neighbor. It provides a lot of jobs out here. Um, it, you know, gives people out here something to do too. Um, it brings in a lot of business, you know, more foot traffic from other communities. And we did reach out to Hollywood Casino for comment today. They declined to do an on-camera interview, but did send us a, sta a statement that is that said in part, quote, high traffic volumes are common with grand openings and typically subside shortly thereafter. It went on to say we understand the frustrations of local residents and appreciate their patience during opening week. Dominic. Kelly, thank you. And County Supervisor Diane Jacob has been a longtime opponent of the Hollywood Casino. Now that it's open, she's urging local residents to stay away, at least until more traffic safety measures are in place. She says Caltrans can make that happen. This is a disaster in the making. County Supervisor Diane Jacob didn't mince words today. If you value your life, don't gamble with it. And don't go to the Hummel Casino. She referenced Monday's traffic nightmare, car after car in gridlock on a two-lane highway. Jacob mentioned the current fire danger and said a small one broke out in nearby Alpine yesterday. Had we had Santa Ana winds, any fire starting to the east could easily have come into that Highway 94 corridor and caused loss of life and injuries. Jacobs is back in 2009. Both the casino and Caltrans agreed on road improvements to be completed before the opening and says most haven't happened. She also brought up the casino's liquor license that was approved. Jacobs said most casinos, like Saquon, had to wait years after they opened to get one. Are there some under backroom deals that have been taking place here as high up as the governor's office? The casino has pledged millions to help with road improvements, but Jacob says Caltrans should consider shutting off access to the casino until they're completed. I intend to hold you as state officials accountable for any loss of life or any injuries that occur as a result of your irresponsible and reckless decisions. And we reached out to Caltrans about Jacob's comments. They did send a release. It didn't address what she said, but didn't say in part Caltrans continues to monitor the area. Traffic congestion is expected to reduce as the novelty of the new facility calms down.